Guys, did y'all know I used to work at Shake Shack? Oh, we have to do that again. I don't actually have a southern accent. I used to work at Shake Shack. In fact, not only did I work at Shake Shack, I was the first general manager of the first location of Shake Shack. And if there's one thing I learned from working at Shake Shack, it's how to make a smash burger. Before you even think about making a smash burger, you have to go buy ground beef. And you need to buy ground chuck, preferably. And you really need to make sure that it is 20% fat. Fat is flavor. Fat is juiciness. Fat is what's going to make these burgers like so enjoyable to bite into. I'm going to divide this into four pieces. This is a pound. These are going to be four ounce patties. The shaggier and the craggier, the better. When you smash it down, the sides are going to kind of flare out and have some thin parts on the edge and some parts that crack. It's not pie dough. So when it cracks around the edges, it's actually a good thing. And that's what gives you the like, really delicious little crunchy bits on the edge and also not packing the meat very tightly means that it's going to um, release all of the juices, okay? That's that. If you wanna use fancy cheese, that is fantastic. Do not try to have a conversation with my boss about it because as far as he's concerned, one type of cheese, that is American cheese, which is not really cheese, it's a cheese product. The other thing that has to happen if you want to make a smash burger in my world is you have to use a potato bun. Uh, Martin's potato bun preferably if you're on other parts of the country where they're not distributed look for another kind of potato roll, potato bun. In a pinch a Hawaiian roll can work. It has that same like sweetness and egginess and it's just a great contrast to what's going on with the burger, with the crunchy craggies that I was talking about. Before I even season the meat, I'm gonna toast the buns. And when I worked at Shake Shack, we used to toast the buns on the griddle, which only accommodated 36 um, patties at a time. So then when we would also have to toast the buns, it would slow down the burger um, fulfillment mechanism which is why people waited a really long time to get their burgers back in the day. The funny thing about Shake Shack was it wasn't supposed to be a burger stand, so it was set up really to make hot dogs and custard. Um, and so when the burgers were the thing that like really took off, it required like rebuilding that first shack from the inside out. I still dream of chocolate custard. When you smash it, the burger should be like the same diameter as the bun, if not just a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm gonna do these up with our BA special sauce because every burger needs to have special sauce. Another funny, funny, little known fact about me and the Shake Shack is that I have in my possession a Word document that is the original Shake Shack Shack sauce recipe and it's password protected and I have no idea what the password is. Most special sauces are special in some of the same ways. They have ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, some hot sauce, maybe some pickle brine, some chopped up pickles. You could grate an onion in there. Start on um, like low, medium low heat, just to get a little toast on the bun. And then this guy is on medium high high and also preheated. Oh my God, so many important little techniques. First of all, don't burn your buns. They have sugar in them, so they go pretty fast. These ones are done. Buns, done. Woo! All right, these guys need another minute. I'm gonna try not to forget that they're going. My personal feeling about how to smash down a smash burger involves two spatulas. One is for surface, and the other one is for leverage. I'm gonna go down on here. One spatula is for surface area and with the heel of this spatula I'm going to press it down all right so really flattening it out we're only going to press the first side of this burger mm. smell of a smash burger now that we've smashed we, we must wait oh, don't burn the buns my god <laughs> One of the things I always look for when I want to get something really brown is what's happening on the surface between the cooking surface and the food. 
right? So I don't want to lift these up and I don't want to mess with them. I just kind of want to keep my eye on the very edge there. And because these are so thin um, and they have a good amount of fat and the griddle is really hot, this whole thing is not going to take very long at all. Another thing I'm going to look for is what's happening on the top surface of the burger. What you want to see is for some juices to start to appear. And the reason it's starting to look juicy is because the fat inside of the burger is rendering. The heat is underneath, so those juices are getting pushed up to the top. Don't burn the bun. So these guys went on a little bit after, so they're not quite, this was the first guy on and that was second. And this guy too, river runs through it. See all the juices happening? It's happening. You might be feeling instinctually that you should pick up a spatula and go about it this way. I am going to advise to you to turn spatula over and that way you don't scrape in between the brown surface and the ground meat. You're going like underneath and shearing the burger away from the surface, okay? And that, it's just important. See, how's the bun doing? I don't know. Ooh, looks good, not quite there yet. Juices running freely, fat loosening. Everybody is arriving. Oh, I feel good about myself right now. Do you like burgers, Andy? Love, I can't wait. He can't wait. What are your favorite toppings? Uh, shredded lettuce. It's like you memorized the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, sweet relish? Interesting. There's going to be lettuce, but not shredded. It gets all wilted. So that's the one deviation from the BA Smash Burger. Oh, Brad doesn't like cheese. No cheese. Like he doesn't like American. I like American. I don't. I don't like American, but it seems it feels right. I think it's right. See, guys, how it only softens. It like gets this sweat. Ah, Tommy, that was close. That was close, you guys. So, checking for the bottom of the bun. Going in with the special sauce. No, don't yell at me. I'm not overcooking the burgers, everybody. Just everybody chill. I can hear the commenters before they've commented. I don't want to shred the lettuce. Our recipe says shred the lettuce. I don't like to shred the lettuce. It's literally the angel hair of lettuce. Couple things going on here. I don't like raw onion. Not gonna see that on my burger. I don't think that burgers necessarily need tomatoes unless it is peak season. And here in early May in New York City is not peak season for tomato. That is fine during peak season, please feel free to peek out with your tomato. Andy, come. Right. I can build. I can go you build. build. Brad, do you want to build a burger? Build a burger. Mmm. <laughs> Brad, All I right. want. Kim I just want kimchi, personally. Got a great crust on it. Mmm. Mmm. Can't beat the special sauce. Mmm. -mm. Love a burger. Mmm. Mm. That's a mashed burger. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. It's like when you dream about a hamburger, mm. like it's, a, it's a smash burger. Mm. I hope that I've done right by all the smash burgers and shack burgers and pressed down craggy shaggy burgers of my life. And now it's over to you. Shack it up.